Uh, my name is uh, Apostle Emmanuel Ecclesiastes and I'm coming from the land of Zambia. Um, I'm running a ministry by the name of uh, Christ Disciples of Agape. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, the great seer, the great prophet of God, that's my spiritual father. Before I met this man, before I met this man, my life was miserable. I was struggling, I was passing through all manner of things, all kinds of things. But I came in contact with him and the Christ TV was open and I looked at him and I said, this is the man. Revelation upon revelation of the word, it was a light that came into my life. And after he spoke and he spoke and I, 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 I looked at the content of the word that was spoken. And my heart was moved to follow this man and I came to this land and I was amazed to see the great works that the Lord is doing through this great prophet of God. Revelations upon revelations. From that very same time, as far as 2013, 2014, my life has been transformed. My life has been changed in line with ministry, in line with character. He's a great man of God that God uses in the line of uh, miracle signs and wonders, the prophetic international accuracy, prophecy, and even on individual basis. The Lord has used this man in a great manner. But in spite of all these wonders and all these great gifts that he possesses, one of the great things that he has, that he possesses, is that, that holiness and that pureness of the holy prophets of old. And that is what he has imparted great in my life, transformed my life. Right now we are experiencing explosions in expansion in ministry. We have seen great miracles. We have seen the dead being raised, demons casted out, great healings. And above all, I have seen character in ministry. There's a certain impartation of holiness even in our ministry, leadership, and the members that are in the church, a reverence and a fear for God. Each time you stand in the presence of such a great man and such a mighty man, what you end up with is the fear of God and the love for God. The presence of God is just so much that he carries. And uh, this being uh, the festive season, I believe that uh, Prophet Imano Makandiwa was given as a gift because this is the very same season that he was born. And just imagine it's a season that we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the prophet also was born in the same season. And it's a replication of Christ himself. So he was given as a gift unto us. And I personally, I'd love to join the other son to celebrate the life of this great seer and this prophet. Papa, I'd love to wish you a happy, happy, glorious birthday. May you live long. Continue praying for us. Your prayers are doing marvelous things and awesome things for us, not just as a church, but also as a nation of Zambia. We appreciate you. You are our prophet as a church, and you are our prophet as a nation. We love you. Love you so much, Papa. Thank you.